Good morning everybody or good afternoon depending on when you are watching this video and welcome to Thursday's Maths with Miss Bradbury. Um, the good news is is that we're going to get to see you next week. Uh, so you've just got today, you've got tomorrow and then you've got the weekend and then we're all going to be back at school on Monday. We are so excited about seeing you. Uh, we hope that you are excited about seeing us as well. And some of you might feel a little bit nervous about coming back and that's OK. It's OK to feel nervous and anxious and worried about coming back to school because you haven't been at school now for two months. Um, but we're going to have some brilliant learning ready. We've got some lovely activities um, and I just think that we're all going to be really happy um, being back at school. So this week in maths, we are learning all about subtraction. Now, subtraction is the posh way or the mathematical word for taking away or minus. OK, and today we are going to be looking at people who help us. So let's have a look. We have got some people who help us here. Here we've got a police lady. So men and women can be police. Uh, can work for the police. Here we've got a nurse. Now this nurse is a man. So nurses can be ladies or men. Here we've got a doctor. And again that can be ladies or men. And here we've got a firefighter. And I think that this is a lady firefighter because again ladies and men can do that. Here we have got a person who works for the post. So this person here delivers any letters that somebody writes and puts through your door with your address on it. That's a post worker. And again, men and ladies can do this job. And lastly, we've got, I think this looks like a teacher. And as you know, your teachers can be a man or it can be a lady as well. So let's click on the police lady first and see what our subtraction challenge is today. So here we go. We've got three police cars, but one police car drives away. So how many police cars would be left? So we've got three police cars, but one drives away. How many are left? Do you know the answer? That's right, it's two. We had three and then one drove away, which means there are two left. Let's have a look at the number sentence for this. So we had three police cars and one drove away. So one got taken away, which equals two. Three subtract one equals two. Well, you could say three minus one equals two, or you could say three take away one equals two. Well done. Right. Shall we see what else we can do challenge wise? So this is nurse Nick and Nick has six x-rays. Can you see them here? So these are the x-rays. Does anybody know what we would use an x-ray for? What does an x-ray show us? Yes, that's right. It shows us the bones in your body. So an x-ray is done at a hospital and it's like a special camera that it takes a photo and it sort of has got x we say x-ray vision. It looks through your skin and it can see your bones. So what do you think? the x-ray machine has taken a picture of here. Do you think it's a picture of somebody's head? No. Do you think it's a picture of somebody's foot? No. That's right, it's a picture of somebody's hand. Yeah, well done. So, Nurse Nick has got six x-rays, but he gives two to the doctor. So how many would he have left? So he has six. He gives two away. How many are left? What do you think? Let's have a look. So we've got six. Two are given to the doctor. How many are left? 
Yes, that's right. There are four left. Let's have a look at our number sentence. So we had six x-rays, but he gave two away to the doctor, which left him with four. Six subtract two equals four. Or six take away two, because he gave them to the doctor, equals four. OK, let's have a look at our next challenge. So we're going to go to the doctor and the doctor is called Dane. Now, the doctor has five plasters, but he gives three to Billy. So how many does the doctor have left? He has five. He gives three to Billy. So he gives three away. Three are taken away. How many does, I have, does he have left? If you want to use your hands to help you, you can. I do this quite a lot. So he's got five plasters. How many fingers are you going to put up? Yes, that's right, five. And he gives three away to Billy. So fold down three fingers. How many do you have left? Yes, that's right. You'll have two fingers left or we can see there are two plasters left. So what's our answer? It's two, yeah. Five, subtract or take away, three equals two. Five minus three equals two. Well done. OK, let's have a look at our next challenge. We've got the firefighter. The firefighter Fran. So, yes, it is a lady firefighter. Firefighter Fran sees six fires, but she uses her hose to put out six fires. So how many will be left? So there are six fires, but then she puts six fires out. How many do you think will be left? Let's have a little look. Oh, so she, there were six fires but then she put them all out. How many are left? That's right, zero. So there were six fires, but then she took away six fires because she put them all out, which means she was left with zero or no fires. Six minus six equals zero, or six subtract six equals zero, or Six take away six equals zero. Well done. OK, let's go on to our post worker. So this is Postman Parker and Parker has nine letters to deliver. So to put through the post box on the doors. So he has nine, but he posts one. So he gets rid of one. How many? are left. What do you think? So he has nine and then one is taken away. How many do you think will be left? Let's watch. Yeah, so there's the one that, that's gone away. How many does he have left? Yes, that's right, eight. Let's have a look at our number sentence. So nine, take away one, because he posted a letter, equals eight. 9 subtract 1 equals 8. Right, let's have a look at our last challenge now. Let's have a little look. So this is Miss Bright. And what do teachers have that you all like to get? A sticker. Yes, that's right. So the teacher, Miss Bright, has 10 star stickers. So she has 10 but she gives three of them to some children. So how many does she have left? She had 10 and then she gave three away. How many does she have left? So she's got 10. Again, use your fingers to help you. Pop 10 fingers up and she gets rid of three. Three are gone. Three are gone to the children. So she has 10. She gets rid of three. So fold three fingers down. How many fingers do you have left? Shall we check? Oh, sorry, there are the three going away. How many fingers do you have left? How many stars are left? That's right, seven. 
Let's look at our number sentence. So we've got 10 because she started off with 10 stars. And then she, it, take away minus or subtract 3 because she gave 3 stickers away to the children. Equals. Equals always goes before our answer. 7. So 10 take away 3 equals 7. Or 10 minus 3 equals 7. Or 10 subtract 3 equals 7. So we can use three different words for taking away or subtracting. We can use subtract, we can use take away, we can use minus, but they all mean the same thing. It means that you're moving them out of the way they are gone. Okay, so well done everybody. I hope you enjoyed that maths activity. It would be really nice if you can maybe have a little go at doing your own subtraction number challenges at home. Um, you can find some objects and maybe try and write some number sentences or get one of your grown-ups to give you some scenarios and you can work out how many would be left. So well done and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.